How was Caleb Williams going to look in a real game like situation? Was the new receiving core of Keenan Allen, Roma Dunze, and DJ Moore going to hold up? Could the defense have another incredible season of creating turnovers? And we finally got all these answers and what was a wild ending to an incredible game. So in this video, I'm going to talk everything Bears. I'm going to break down their comeback win over the Titans, what they can learn from the mistakes they made in this game, and why I think they sent a clear message to the rest of the NFL. But before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe. It only takes five seconds plus you can always change your mind we are on the road to 40k subscribers and with your support i believe we can get there super fast all right so as the game began the bears offense struggled to find its rhythm williams looked a bit hesitant and out of sync with his receivers completing just a handful of short passes in the first quarter and the titans defense applied consistent pressure forcing williams to scramble and make some rush decisions meanwhile tennessee's offense found some early success with tony pollard breaking free for a 26 yard touchdown run to give the titans a seven to nothing lead and in the second quarter we saw the bear the offense just failed to sustain drives on the other side will levis showed a lot of poise in the pocket early on he looked like what people were describing williams as connecting with tight end chiga Conquo for a 17 yard touchdown pass and the titans extended their lead to 17 nothing leaving everyone at soldier field stunned and frustrated but just before halftime the bears finally showed signs of life a long kickoff return by DeAndre Carter set up a short field goal by Cairo Santos, cutting the deficit to 17-3. However, the first half was largely a disappointment for Chicago, with Williams completing just 8 of 13 passes for a mere 52 yards. And the third quarter brought a dramatic shift in momentum. While the Bears offense continued to sputter, their special teams unit provided a much needed spark. Daniel Hardy broke through to block a punt, and safety Jonathan Owens scooped up the ball, returning it 21 yards for a touchdown. This really energized and fired up the crowd and brought the Bears within striking distance at 17-10. And as the fourth quarter began, the Bears defense stepped up its intensity. They first a turnover on a strip sack of Levis, setting up another Santos field goal to make it 17-13. And the defensive line led by Montez Sweat began to dominate the line of scrimmage, pressuring Levis and shutting down the Titans running game. The turning point came midway through the fourth quarter when cornerback Tyreek Stevenson made a huge game-changing play. With the Titans backed up in their own territory, Levis threw an ill-advised pass under pressure. Pressure. Stevenson read it perfectly, picking off the ball and returning it 43 yards for a touchdown. The Bears took their first lead of the game 24-17 after a successful two-point conversion. Overall, despite his struggles, Caleb Williams showed flashes of the talent that made him the top pick. He displayed some impressive mobility, escaping pressure, and extending plays with his legs. However, his accuracy was inconsistent, and he often held onto the ball a bit too long, resulting in sacks and missed opportunities. But it is week one, you have to cut him a little bit of slack i know he will bounce back and get better as the season goes on and moving on the bears receiving core had a quiet day overall with dj moore leading the way with just five catches for 36 yards and keenan allen and roma dunze were largely held in check most definitely highlighting the need for better chemistry with williams moving forward it was really chicago's defense that proved to be the difference maker in this game they created three turnovers including stevenson's pick six and a game ceiling interception by jalen johnson in the final minutes and the pass rush anchored by sweat and rookie Jervon dexter consistently pressured levis and disrupted the titans offensive rhythm so as the final whistle blew the bears emerged victorious with a 24 to 17 win overcoming a 17 point deficit and silencing their early season doubters and while the offense struggled the team showed resilience and the ability to win in multiple ways which is always good to see especially early in the season so looking ahead caleb williams will need to improve his timing and decision making to really unlock the full potential of the bears offense his ability to extend plays and make throws on the run is promising but he really must develop better pocket awareness but again I'm not worried, he will as time goes on. It was literally the dude's first game in an NFL uniform. Also, as you all know, special teams played a crucial role in the victory. Jonathan Owens' pump block return for a touchdown was a big momentum shifting play, and this phase of the game could be a key factor in close contests throughout the season, and it's often overlooked when talking about the game of football as a whole. Anyways, while the passing game struggled, the Bears showed flashes of a solid ground attack. DeAndre Swift and Khalil Herbert provided an okay one-two punch, helping to take some pressure off Williams' shoulders and keeping the offense balanced. But fantasy-wise, Swift really killed me in this one. Also, another takeaway I got from this game is that the offensive line will need to improve its protection because Williams was kind of under constant pressure throughout the game. So better pass blocking will be crucial for the rookie's development and the overall success of the offense. 
It was kind of funny how going into this game, all the hype and attention was on the receiving core and Caleb Williams, but sometimes that ground and pound nitty gritty football will win you games. And even though Bears fans were super happy about the week one win to start off the season, nobody really got to truly see what the offense is capable of. And so many people had forgotten about this Bears defense. I mean, this was a unit that created so many turnovers last season that it was hard to even keep track. As I look ahead after this win for the Bears, next week is a game against the Houston Texans. This one should be super fun and exciting. The Texans will most definitely be the favorites, but CJ Stroud vs Caleb Williams is like a matchup between the future of this league. And both these teams have immensely talented wide receivers, so it's going to come down to which secondary plays the best, and also how well the front sevens can get to the quarterback. For this being week one, I would grade the Bears performance as a B. There are definitely a lot of things that could be cleaned up, especially in that first half, but a win is a win. And in terms of the standings at the end of the season, this will end up being a huge one. Here is what Caleb Williams and many others had to say about the game. Obviously, we didn't perform how we wanted to. We want to be the most efficient team out there, um, you know, myself included. Um, didn't perform the way that I wanted to. Um, I think there's small things that always lead up to big things, uh, make things, you know, make those moments and things like that a lot bigger. Um, to make games a lot closer. Uh, that we've developed over here um, the last couple years. And, uh, and the guys did a nice job in the second half. Obviously, blocking that punt was a big spark. You know, Hardy did an awesome job with that and scooping it up by J.O. Uh, really, really nice play there. And then the defense with the, the, you know, the three turnovers in the fourth quarter, excellent job there. So, uh, and one in return for a touchdown. Uh, you know, I thought in the first half the defense didn't uh, play the run as well as we're used to, uh, but I did think in the second half we made some good adjustments. That's really all I have to say for this video. Thank you all so much if you made it to this point. And if you enjoyed and haven't yet, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe because your support does truly mean the world. And also, let me know what you would like to see next. And until then, I will see you all later.